What's up everyone, Zarreal here. Welcome to an, a, a prediction vlog, another one that I have not done. Actually, this is the first one I've done in years. I'm talking about the last prediction vlog I did for any battle rap card event was Smack's uh, URL's uh, Armageddon, I think that back in, what, 2013? And I haven't done one since then. And a lot of people have been since then have been hitting me up telling me they like my insight and my foresight and a, with a lot of the battlers and what I thought about the cards and you know my predictions and I had an interesting take on it I was getting a lot of props for that and I just like I stopped doing prediction vlogs I don't know why I guess life just took over but I'm back um, and I'm going to be doing the prediction vlogs for uh, in, in future battle for future battle rap events as the full cards get revealed and just give you my thoughts on it, which I'm going to do for this as well. Um, no, I don't have any fancy intro for, you know, the videos and anything like that. You know, so don't expect anything like that. This is just raw and uncut, so we're going to do this live. Um, another thing is, uh, you know, the house is kind of active, so downstairs people are, like, talking and cooking and banging pots and pans and shit, so... <laughs> Uh, forgive me if you guys hear hear them. Like I said, this is raw and uncut. You know, I don't I don't, have, I don't have any fancy editing footage. Like you're getting it how it is. So, first, let's go over what is arguably going to be the best card of for battle rap in 2015. You know, this is the crown. This is guerrilla warfare. Uh, Miss Gracie and I think Ben Cannon. Like he's associate. Like like he's responsible for a lot of this shit too. So, so forgive me if I'm wrong, because I don't like giving credit where it's not due, but I also like giving credit where it is due. But I think Big Cannon, like, he is, like, a co-owner of Guerrilla Warfare, if, if I'm not mistaken. And he's the reason why a lot of these battles are even happening. So, if I'm not mistaken. So, shout out to Big Cannon, if that's true. Um, but, yeah, let, let's go over the card. So that you, and then we're going to talk about some, well, each of the battles and what I think about the battlers and the matchups. So, at the top of the list, they have Lady Luck, the return of Lady Luck, versus Official. Um, they have Aver versus Sue Surf, Charlie Clips versus Big Cannon, Math Hoffa versus Big K, Daylight versus O Red, Ill Will versus K Shine, John John the Don versus Young Cannon, uh, JC versus Born, which for some of you who may not have followed Battle Rap for a long time, that's Newborn. But he changed his name to Born like a like one or two years ago. Uh, like he dropped the new because he wasn't new to the game anymore. Um, and then he got Excel versus Heavy Half. And he got a, a few undercard matches that weren't announced. So we we have that. Uh, those battles aren't, haven't been confirmed yet. So I, I wish those were confirmed so I could speak on those too. But then again, the undercard matches might be from for like battlers that may not be too well known. So I guess people wouldn't really know anyway. Uh, so let me just plug this in. Uh, the event is going to be um, held this Saturday on November 11th. No, wow, well, no, but wow, 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 wow. Un raw and uncut, even the stupid shit. <laughs> November 21st, this Saturday. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. I said November 11th, man. I'm, I'm so stupid. Uh, it's going to be for $30 on Rap Grid. Uh, I will have the link because I do want to support, you know, the the battle rap community. So I got to give information. Like, it is starting to get loud downstairs, so forgive me if you hear them. Um, I have my mic down lower. It still probably don't work. But, yeah, I'm going to have the link to this. So, you guys, so so those who want to purchase the um, the event can do so. You can watch it pay-per-view. Uh if I'm not mistaken, I think this is going to be live uh, right here. Um, but yeah, like I'm gonna have the link to this page right here in the video description, so you guys can come here and you guys can read all the ins and outs and all that other good shit. And again, November 21st uh, at Adrianus uh, at 16300 Dixie Highway, uh, Markham, Illinois. Uh, you guys can see all that shit right there, all that good shit. Hope you, hopefully you can see. Hosted by Melo the Gutter Man. I'm from Chicago. Yeah, I'm trying to get my singing on. Don't hate. All right, so <laughs> now that we got all that good stuff out the way, let's talk about the 
battles going down and what I think about it because a lot of these battles have some some somewhat good history uh, or, or they got a little, somewhat good history they have a little bit of history behind uh, behind them that a lot of people may not know about so let me um let me talk about this so here we go all right so the first battle I want to speak on, and I'm not going to do these in order going up and down because a lot of what I have to say depends on the order that I talk about them, man. You're going to understand when I do. Um, oh, bro. They, they calling me. What? Nagging, bro. Anyway, the first battle I want to talk about is Aver versus Sue Surf. This is going to be a debatable. I don't really see any either one of those guys body bagging. Um... I don't see nobody catching a body. It's going to be a 2-1 either way. Aver is like, I don't remember any battle. And I watched, I would say, unless there's some battles that I've missed, I've watched every battle of Averbs and Sue Surfs, and I don't remember any battle where either one of those guys got a, a solid 3-0. You know, I don't think, either one of those guys got a solid 3-0 I don't think it, it was a, a case where that happened and so it was like in every battle they ever had they either lost 2-1 or they won 2-1 so that one is going to be a debatable that that's all I can say for that one and it's pretty much is going to be the same thing for like daylight no red now here's the well no, no let me take that back because O-Red, he's been on his shit lately. Like, he has... I don't know. I think O-Red is out to to show that he's still that nigga. And Daylight... I don't know what the hell Daylight thinking. You know? <laughs> he just a uh, weird character in battle rap that... I'm proud to say he had... He's been antic-less. antic uh, For, I would say, the majority of this year. Or, like, all this year. Or, I think, the majority of this year. Um, if not, then he's been antic less for like the past few battles he's been in, to my knowledge. And he's been keeping it relatively, you know, antic free, which is, I feel is a good thing. I think Daylight, he's one of the most unique battlers in battle rap. And I don't think that's a stretch because he says shit that nobody else, nobody else says, quite frankly. Like he's one of those battlers that you can honestly say he has some setups and some punchlines that nobody else says. You know what I'm saying? Like, he is literally that unique of a battle. And, like, I, I think I can honestly say that, and that's a pretty accurate statement. O-Red, he's pretty dangerous, you know. I mean, I've seen damn near every battle of O-Red, and he always comes with that aggression. You know, he, of course, he got bars like a motherfucker. But it's like, O-Red has a problem. <laughs> it's like anytime he gets super super aggressive like his voice does like this little grunting thing and it's like you can barely understand it like almost like you're running out of breath or something man you gotta chill with that <laughs> like but O-Red like he good though O-Red is good so that one's gonna be a nice back and forth you know that that one I'm gonna take that back that's not gonna be like A-Verb and Sue Surf but that O-Red and Daylight that could be a potential classic if they both come with their A-game I think I think that one could be a, a potential classic so, next up, we have uh, Math Hoffa and Big K. Now, I don't want to talk about this one. Now, these are two cats that aren't going to be intimidated by each other by any means. And that right there makes it interesting for a battle. You know what I'm saying? I think anybody who knows, again, if you're, if you're familiar with battle rap, if you're familiar with the battlers, that's been coming out, I would say, if you've been paying attention to Battle Rap for like the past 10 years, let me just put it like that, you know who Math Hoffa is, you know, he's a known name, and Big K, you know, he's been battle rapping for, I would say, like what, the past, like what, five years or so, I, I don't really know how long Big K's been in the game, but, you know, I started watching him, I would say like three years ago, when, like when he went up against, who was it, uh, I think Half Past Seven? Um. Yeah, I think that's who that was, right? Half past seven versus Big K. O on the URLs, uh, 
proving grounds. Half past seven didn't make it. You know, head slamming like a DDT. Yeah, he, half past did, half past didn't make that. He, he didn't make it out the proving grounds. That, that motherfucker died in the proving grounds, and we ain't seen him since. So I don't know where he at. Which is sad though. He used to be good though. But nevertheless, um, Big K, he's known for like his punches and shit, and like Big K is a punching motherfucker. Funny enough, that might be a bar that one of them use. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna make a bar prediction. Somebody's gonna say something. I, I feel like somebody's gonna say something. It might happen in the Math Hopper and Big K battle, where either Big K or Math Hopper say something about, you know, this is gonna be a battle between two punching motherfuckers. Like, Math punch niggas. And I punch niggas. Like, this is gonna be a battle between two punching motherfuckers. I don't think Big K is gonna say nigga, but, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like that bar is gonna be used. Like, somebody's gonna say a punchline, something similar to that, and that's gonna be dope. Um,. But yeah, th that battle is going to be the battle of the niggas that's not going to back down. You know what I'm saying? You know, so that battle is going to be interesting just off of that. That one right there just might be a classic. That, I, I feel like that one is going to be real good. I, I, that's that's going to be one of those battles to watch. You know, I kind of feel like that's going to be like one of the matches like, say like, I, I kind of look at Math Hoffa and Big K as like, as like a WrestleMania match, you know, what I'm saying with the Undertaker, it's like it's it's not the main event, but it's still the match you want to see. You know what I mean? That's the way I look at that. So between Math Hoffa's lyricism, because Math Hoffa is a very lyrical dude, I don't think he get the respect he deserves as a lyricist. But uh, and Big K, he is very punch heavy. Like he will not pull any punches, no pun intended. Um, but you know, he he's very punch heavy and he has some crazy punch lines that is going to be the battle of the night in my opinion i feel like that's going to be the battle of the night um next up we have ill will versus k-shine um ill will he i haven't seen him on url lately not that it matters i don't even know why the hell i brought that up but uh i think the last battle i seen from ill will was him versus x-factor at that event they had up in Detroit, I think. It was somewhere in Michigan. I think it was in Detroit, but I'm not sure. But, uh, like, he was holding his own against X Factor. Like, you know, well, he's always been nice. Of course, when he went up against DNA, he lost. You know, he kind of lost steam as the battle went on when, when he went up against Tay Rock. So, but since then, he's been, you know, that monstrous ill will. And so I'm trying to. But it's been a minute since we've seen him, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to figure out, you know, if Ill Will is really going to come. If, if if Ill Will brings that shit that he brought up against B-Magic, if Ill Will brings that shit that he brought up against shit, other niggas that were, Ill Will was just like spazzing on him, then Ill Will, like he obviously going to take this. But K-Shine, he kind of been on, and I, I don't want people to get mad at me, especially like the K-Shine fans and the K-Shine stands. And the, and the dot mob stands, and you know, and the zip them up stands, and the NWX stands. No motherfuckers got a big ass fan base, by the way. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't want people to get mad at me. But K Shine, he hasn't been, as far as by himself, he has not been. It's, it seems like he's been losing steam a little bit as well. Part of the reason why I feel like he kind of teamed up with DNA to do the two on two thing cause it's like by itself it's like he just I don't know like I felt like he wasn't as motivated to battle rap by itself but when he hooked up with DNA it's like he got like his win back you know what I mean like he got like his that aggressive case shine that just, that, that, just, that just ain't gonna play with motherfuckers you know what I mean I don't know what it is but but you know, K shine I think that's gonna be a, a nice battle too I don't know if they if them two been planning on battling each other for like a long time or anything. I don't I, I don't I don't remember hearing anything like like that. But Ill Will and K Shine, I I think them two people, are, those two are gonna bring their shit because this is a solid card. And I be and I know both of them are like I'll be damned if I get overlooked. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna overlook me. I'm gonna be the nigga that talk that you know that gets talked about. Like y'all gonna remember my shit. So them two niggas, they going to come in, and I don't know they're going to spit their hearts out. So shout out to both Ill Will and K-Shine. Um, next up, I want to talk about the battle that has me on the edge of my seat the most. 
the, the battle that has me on my on the edge of my seat the most, and that's JC versus Born. This is the battle that has me on the edge of, that has me on the edge of my seat the most. Here's why I say this, right? For years now, if I'm not mistaken, it's been years. Born has been calling out JC, like he's been calling out JC in like blogs and interviews and shit like that. Like he's been calling out JC, you know, and saying all this crazy shit about JC, how about how he gonna kill him and you know and shit like that. Like he's been calling out JC for a long time and rightfully so jc has been avoiding born i don't know what it is about born see people don't know the history about newborn well back when he was called newborn newborn has been battling as long as calico hitman holla and i think even young ill you know like he belongs in that class he's been battling for that long even though some people seen him um in the URL, you know, uh, proven grounds, you know, which is sad to see a vet like that have to go through the proven grounds. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've been battling that long, and, it, and the funny thing is, he was battling for this long on Smack. You know, that's the crazy thing. And I think he battled on Grind Time back when Grind Time was on his shit too. So, literally, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's been battling on the league that he ended up back in the PGs in. Like, it just didn't make any sense. So, and ever since that loss with Cal... I think he battled Calico, and a lot of people said that he lost that battle. And since then, like, he took, like, a big break. Like, he didn't battle for a while, and it hurt him. And when he did come back, he was choking, he was stumbling, and he got known for that. So it seemed like any time... Somebody brought Born up in a battle, or somebody talked about versus going up against Born. It's like his name always got his name rang synonymous with choking and battle rap. You know what I mean? But I think since you know Earl, I think <laughs> like, like I think since that, I think people been forgetting that newborn you know chokes or whatever. It's just that at for a while, I think people been saying shit and it, it, it turned into people not just want not even wanting to see born so born he has my respect for one keep going for, just just for you know continuing to, to battle even though he battled like you know small time dudes um because born is a name regardless if you think he's top tier low tier or whatever the fuck um i don't think anybody thinks he's top tier but you know mid tier or whatever you know like whatever the case is born he's been fighting to come back and he's been spitting some crazy shit in a lot of battles like when he went up against Danger Zone I like that shit uh, he, like he went up against some other like a lot of people like he battled a lot to get his name back up and you know he's trying to earn his respect back and going up against JC this might be in many people's opinions his only chance while he's in his prime to really get or really take that step towards that spot that he should have been had. You know what I'm saying? And with so in that battle, the reason why it has me on the edge of my seat, one, is because he's been calling out JC mad long. Two, he's the one with something to prove in this battle, not JC necessarily. I mean, JC, obviously, he has to come in there and just prove that, yo, he's JC, he's going to come in there, he's going to spit that, that shit that JC spit. Because JC, he's known to be a monster when it comes to battling but born he's been proving that you know hey i can hang so he's been, he, he just been trying to earn his stripes again and i would say that the battle against jc was well deserved and before i, I think jc wouldn't even acknowledge that born was nice and now it's just like okay well finally the nigga put in a lot of fucking work i think it's about time you know this shit happened because born I, I think right now born is at his best and JC, like, he's just at a point where it's like, ain't nobody fucking with me. So, as far as the battle itself goes, all the pressure is on Newborn. See, like, I keep calling him Newborn because I've been watching him for that long. I'm still used to calling him Newborn. But JC, the battle is more so focused on Born doing good than JC doing bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> all the focus is on Born. Is Born going to come there and choke? Is he going to come there and stumble? Is he going to fuck up? Is he going to, you know, you know, fuck himself over? Like, what is it? Like, 
Bourne needs to come there. All right, how about I just say it like this? JC has the option of coming there and spitting some nice shit. JC can even half ass it, you know, and it won't hurt him. Not necessarily. I mean, it might hurt his pride because, like, damn, nigga, like, you lost to Bourne. If he does that, right? But Bourne needs to be nice. He needs to come there and spit some shit. He needs to, you know how a lot of people will say JC can come there and spit, like, a lot of high-quality bars and shit, which, which he can. I mean, the niggas in writer's block, and they are arguably, like, the best writers in battle rap. Arguably the best writers in battle rap, you know. Um, I don't think there's anybody really fucking with that group, but nevertheless, um, but Born definitely needs to be on his A game and do not fuck up, cause this could be his one chance to really, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess rank up. You know what I mean? This could be his one chance to rank up while he's in his prime. And he know that he can't fuck this up because this is, th this is it. You know, he's been putting in all that work. And if, if, if he loses to JC, then all that shit that he did won't matter. And it's like, it's back to the drawing board. It's back to, you know, the bottom of the barrel. You know, he put himself in a, a bottom of the, a, a hole for many years that he had to fight and scratch and claw and get out of. This is his chance. So I'm, I'm kind of rooting for Bourne when it comes to that, in my opinion. Just for that strict fact that I want him to get out of that hole, because he been he been fighting like he's the ultimate underdog. You know what I'm saying? On, on this entire card, he is the ultimate underdog. So that battle right there either is going to be very good or it's going to be very bad. So <laughs> Bourne better bring it. But JC, I know he gonna come with his shit. So Bourne need to be on his shit. Like I said, JC has the option on whether or not he wants to be nice or not. He has that option. Not saying that he won't. But JC, at least he has the option. Born needs to be nice. Because it's more so about Born, you know what I'm saying, getting out of that hole. And less about JC coming there, you know, and putting on a show. You know what I'm saying? So that's basically what I mean. That's why that has me on the edge of my seat. Uh, next up, um, they got XL versus Heavy Half. Now, Heavy Half, like, he's like a relatively new dude. I think he only has like two battles on camera. Or, I, or I've only seen two battles that he had on camera. Uh, one way he went up against some guy and one way he went up against Big Cannon and you know Heavy Half I think you know he's pretty fucking good you know Heavy Half he him being like a new face in battle rap you know he's or at least from like first impressions he seems like he's gonna be a threat in the coming future cause he was spitting that shit up against Big Cannon like you know, I, I like the shit that he was spitting. Like, Heavy Half is, you know, showing that he's not to be played with. XL, you know, when he was on URL, because um, I don't think he's battling on URL anymore, but he was like, well, even then, after that, he, he basically became Battle Rap's golden child. You know, basically the way JC was when he first came in, people was looking at him as like the golden child of Battle Rap. That's pe the way people are looking at XL these days here's why I say that XL he's a dope spitter he has dope bars he you know like he's a certified spitter that's one thing you can say about XL and he's nice with it the problem with XL is that he basically has that how can I put it He's choking it and he's stumbling in his battles and he's forgetting his 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 rounds. He's forgetting his his shit, and I don't want to even put this curse on him, but it, it's becoming that he's forgetting his shit. Like he's basically turning himself into like the new newborn. You know what I mean? He's nice, but what but what good is it being nice if you can't remember your shit? You know what I'm saying? Excel, he. he He's one of those dudes that when he raps, you want to hear him rap. And when but it, it kills the momentum when he stumbles and when he chokes. You know what I'm saying? He stumbles, chokes and he forgets his shit. That right there it kills the momentum. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping that XL is putting in extra extra practice to remember his shit cuz heavy half is going to steamroll this dude if you if you're not careful. But that one right there might be the surprising battle of the night. 
And the reason why I say that because I think, you know, between XL chokes for people that's been paying attention to XL and Heavy Half being like this new face, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I think people are going to really be um, surprised by what those two do. So I'm, 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 I don't know what to say about that battle. I just hope Excel doesn't choke. You know, if, if, if Excel doesn't choke, then that, that battle is really going to be good. Because, you know, come on, Excel. Like, I'm kind of rooting for you not to choke. I don't really know who's going to win between the both of them. But, you know, hey, I'm, I'm rooting for you, man. <laughs> um, next up, we got Charlie Clips versus Big Cannon. I don't think I spoke on that one. Uh, Big Cannon versus Charlie Clips. I think this battle was supposed, was years in the making. Um, Big Cannon, he... I think a lot of people will agree with me. Big Cannon is the most underrated battle rapper in battle rap right now. He is the number one most underrated battle rap. You know, when he was spitting in URL, he was severely underused. Um, he was underestimated, you know, but he's nice. And when you got somebody that's nice, you know, with they pen and they delivery and they bars and people not taking them seriously, I mean... After that battle that he did with M City, I mean, he wiped the floor with M City in that one round. Like people saying they three old M City in one in run in one round, and basically that's what it felt like. He bodied M City, and he wasn't even supposed to be on that card. Like he was on the undercard. You know what I'm saying? And that shit right there was crazy. And since then, Big Cannon, he's just been showing that, you know, don't underestimate me. So shout out to RBE for giving him chance in Guerrilla Warfare for you know putting him on. But again, that's his own shit. So. If I'm not mistaken, but Big Cannon, he's a uh, a force to be reckoned with. Now Charlie Clips, you know, arguably the dude that has never lost. Arguably, um, he's been known to not have third rounds. Obviously, you know, he's been known to come slacking. But lately, he said he he's been trying to focus on making it fun for him and battle rap again, so that he can be motivated to go, you know, a full three rounds and what have you, and you know give him the performances that he's known to give um so that battle right there i feel like that one's going to be a classic you know if charlie clips can come with his shit and come with three full rounds then clips is going to be you know all right but big cannon he's he's not fucking around because this is like another i don't want to say this is another jc Bourne situation because it's it's obviously not that but big cannon he's out to prove something you know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Big Cannon, he's definitely out to prove something. He's severely underrated, and he doesn't get the respect he deserves. And to this day, if anybody's seen that Big Cannon versus JC battle, you know what I'm saying? Anybody who's seen that battle, that second round that Spit case, uh, Spit, that was completely freestyle. And, it was, and this was actually confirmed by, um, uh, this was actually confirmed by ARP. Uh, Big Cannon actually came to him, bef I think, before the, the, that battle between uh, between um, him and JC had happened, and he said that he had something to prove to him, and he wanted to freestyle his entire second round, and he did, and it wasn't lacking in quality, and he's the only person in battle rap, to my knowledge, to actually freestyle an entire round and not have it lacking in quality, and that was some epic shit man so props to Big Cannon for that you probably the only dude in battle rap to my knowledge that that has ever done some shit like that and actually had it sound dope you know what I mean so he gets my respect for that but for this battle with Charlie Clips you know Charlie Clips he's a big name in battle rap he went up against Loaded Lux Hollow to Don and he's arguably beating these guys you know um and not to mention he went up against Sirius Jones and you know many people like, Charlie Clips is, like, a known name. He's um, in many people's top five battle rappers of, you know, all time. Um, and Big Cannon, uh, he's going up against him. And Big Cannon, I've, I've seen some prediction vlogs, and it was one where I think he was doing a prediction vlog with uh, – with B Magic and uh Swave Seva and Swave Seva had said that, you know, he seemed like Big Cannon kinda shaking a little bit, but but he was shaking with excitement and he was like, 
that energy, that that feel like he wanted to spit his bars for Clips right now because he felt like he's just going to kill Charlie Clips. Like, he needs that W, and he's not going to fuck around with him. And Big Cannon, I feel like he's just at his best right now. So that battle right there is going to be a classic. I feel that battle is going to be a classic, or Big Cannon is just going to body Charlie Clips. I don't know. <laughs> you know, man? I hope not. I hope that's not the case, man. But Charlie Clips, man, hey, you know, he ain't to be played with either. So I don't know, man. That one right there is going to be a classic. They did a good job on this fucking card. So next up, John John the Don versus John Cannon. Um, this is another battle that I feel where somebody has something to prove. I feel like for one, John John the Don, he's been at the top of like the PG class, or well, just over the PGs at all. You know what I mean? I feel like he's like the lid on that PG jar. You know what I mean? And I feel like. In order for you to make it out the PGs, you have to beat John John. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, ha you have to get that at pass. Like people play with John John, but John John he had to be played with. I mean, after what he did against Mr. Wavy, you know, you know, I'm charged up back to back like that light skinned nigga, but he could be Drake. I'm Quentin Miller. I got a right for this nigga. Like he was, a, a he bodied Mr. Wavy, and Mr. Wavy ain't no joke, but. John John made Mr. Wavy look like a joke that night, man. If you, you guys need to watch that battle. I mean, John John, he was on another level that night. But, um, yeah, like he, for whatever reason, I feel like John John's been like the guy to test your metal against when one of the, like, the, I guess one, one of the, one of the either newer faces or more unfamiliar faces has something to prove or they want to make something of themselves. Mind you, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, John John was like the first big name to go up against um, hold on one second, trying to adjust myself here. He was the first big name to go up against uh, Top. He was the first one to go up against T-Top. Like the first big name. So, he... And I think even T-Top will agree with you. He was uh, the reason why T-Top got a lot of the attention that he has now. You know, he, John John basically got his, got T-Top's battle rap career on a, on a big jump start. You know what I mean? And I don't want to sound like arrogant or anything like that, but I think even T-Top will tell you, you know, he, he got a lot of attention off that. I think after that battle, like he went to U-Dub and, uh, and he battled a couple times and then he went on Smack and, you know, and he's been you know, tearing shit up ever since. So, shout out to John John for that because he did a favor for T-Top. He didn't have to battle that dude, but he thought T-Top was nice and T-Top, he went places off of that battle. You know, and Young Cannon, he's another one that really has something to prove because um, I think he's another underrated battle rapper um, that doesn't get the respect that he deserves and he's been severely underused and under, you know what I mean? Like, he's one of those guys that feels like he has something to prove and based on John John's history I don't know maybe this battle might do something for, for Young Cannon so Young Cannon gotta be on this shit this night cause John John I think he's just riding a wave right now no pun intended uh, after that battle with Mr. Wavy John John he's just looking A1 you know what I mean like don't fuck with me type shit you know what I mean and Young Cannon you know he just gotta be on this shit that night now speaking of all these battles we finally get to the last one on the card, or, the, or should I say the last one that's been confirmed for the card, Lady Luck versus Official. Now, this was, it, it, again, if you watch that B-Magic and Swave Seva prediction vlog for, for the Crown 2, when Big Cannon mentioned this battle, Swave Seva just walked off. And I don't, I'm, I'm not mad at him for that. Because for you to, I hope that's, because the, the way he walked off, it was like, okay, who you think gonna win between Lady Luck and Official? And he walked off like, nigga, I hope that's a rhetorical question. You know what I mean? I hope you don't really want to answer for that. I hope you don't really need to an answer for that shit. Because, quite frankly, since the Fight Club days, I don't think anybody's really seen Lady Luck battle. I mean, she made an appearance at, uh... At, um... Queen of the Ring. But I don't think she's battled... You know, since those Fight Club days, 
and that's bad that's very bad considering that you know since we don't have anything to go off of that can either either be this could either be one of the biggest shockers of the night or this could either be what everybody thinks it is and official is just going to mow this girl down you know so I'm going to put it to you like this as of right now nobody has any faith that Lady Luck is going to come there and and win this battle this is going to be child's play Lady Luck is going to look like a pushover official is going to body this girl and go home and be like that battle was whatever you know basically putting it like this like in this battle official was supposed to win because Lady Luck hasn't put out anything to show that she can hang with today's battle rap scene you know and unless Lady Luck comes back and spits some bars, say like, like the way, basically the way Cicero uh, was spitting up against Cortez, minus the chokes and him forgetting the shit, Cicero actually proved that he can hang with today's battle rappers. You know what I mean? And to this day, from Cortez to Conceited to everybody that was there, everybody said the same thing like he did better than all those legends that came back so if lady luck can come with some today's battle rap era shit then she can hang you know all she has to do is prove that she can hang but pretty much official it's it's in the official's favor to win this damn battle you know what i'm saying official don't come to that battle and lose like disaster did you know what i'm saying and get three old by you know the ice on my wrist look like the Lucky Charms box or some shit like that. Like, don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get Cassidy. That's basically what I'm saying. Like, don't get Cassidy, man. But Lady Luck, uh, it's like all the pressure is on Lady Luck in, in that battle. This is, because that battle is strictly just to see if Lady Luck can hang. You know, she's just a battle rap legend, quote unquote. I mean, I don't know if people consider her to be a legend or not. I don't know. Um, I don't know if she's really done anything legendary for battle rap or anything like that. I don't know. Maybe she just got a lot of years in the game or something like that. I don't know. But, again, I haven't seen her battle since the Fight Club days. So, so yeah, like, it, it's a toss-up, man. It's it's one of those things that's whatever. I, but that's my opinions about all the battles here. Lady Luck is going to be the main one everybody's looking at. Like, is she going to be dated with her bars and her flow and her delivery? Like, you know, is her shit going to be dated or is it going to be up to date with what's going on now? But it basically, official is the the one favorite. It's like, in many people's minds, nobody is remotely expecting official to lose. You know what I mean? Ain't no way official is going to lose this. That's everybody's that's pretty much nearly either everybody's or nearly everybody's opinion when it came to, when it comes to that battle between Averb and Sue Surf that's going to be 2-1 either way Charlie Clips and Big Cannon that's, that could be a classic Math Hoffa versus Big K that, that's classic off the, like the tension alone like because neither one of those dudes going to back down from each other you know what I'm saying like they can't intimidate each other at all so that one right there is going to be a classic just off of that alone the the, the D Daylight versus O-Red that one's going to be nice Ill Will versus K-Shine that one could be nice. John John and Don versus Young Cannon. Young Cannon got something to prove. John Don really doesn't. So Young Cannon better be on this shit. JC versus Bourne. This is Bourne's literally his only, it may be his only chance um, to get out of this hole that he dug himself in years and years ago. You know, you did all these battles fighting all these small time dudes at these other smaller leagues. And you know what I mean? You've been going crazy. So, you've been calling out JC for years, and you finally got him. So, hopefully, you be on your shit that night, and you spit some level shit that you was spitting up against, uh, what's his name? Uh, a, a fucking Super Rider. Like, the shit that you were spitting up against Super Rider, up in the PGs, in the PG battle, hopefully, he brings some level shit like that to go up against JC, because he was nice up against that Super Rider battle, in that Super Rider battle. Um... You know, expect some shit that you were spitting up against Danger Zone or, or something. Just don't come there, choke, be A1. Because I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm rooting for you. I think JC might win it, but, you know, born he been stepping his game up. So I'm hoping that battle turns out to be the battle of the night. You know what I mean? And I hope born surprises everybody because I'm rooting for him. You know, because he's, everybody's, pretty much I feel like between him and Lady Luck, both of them 
have their eyes on them the most more than anybody else on this card. You know what I mean? And I want and I wanted to make a, a bar prediction for that battle, but I don't want to say it. I want to wait till after the event to see if somebody says it. If they don't, then obviously I'll say it. You know, uh, when I do the recap. But but yeah, that uh, XL versus Heavy Half that one's gonna be a nice back and forth as well. You know, XL, please don't choke. And, you know, because you've been looking bad these past couple battles. And I, I like when you rap. You know what I'm saying? Please don't come there and stumble and choke. Because when you rap, I like hearing your shit. But when you rap, it, it just kills it. You know, when you rap, it, it just kills it when you stumble. You know what I'm saying? You're one of those dudes that has shit that once you fuck up once, it can fuck up the entire round for you. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm saying. Like, you just don't come there and fuck up, man. But yeah, man, that's my predictions and that's my opinions on the battlers and the battle, the, the battles going on. Uh, shout out to Guerrilla Warfare, Miss Gracie. Again, Big Cannon, if you're responsible for any of this um, as well. You guys put together a card that is just fucking ridiculous. And they're doing an award ceremony, which I feel, you know, is long overdue in battle rap. So I'm glad they're doing it. Uh, ho hopefully that becomes a success and there'll be many more uh, in the future. Um, but most definitely, this is going to be a crazy card. You know, I can't wait till November 21st this Saturday to see some of these battles go down. Uh, I'm thinking about getting the pay-per-view. I think I am going to get the pay-per-view because I want to see those battles like at that moment. I can't wait until later on. Again, the link to this is going to be in the description. You guys can uh, check it out. I think they took a battle off. It was Shotgun Suge versus somebody. I'm, I'm not sure who, but that battle got taken off. Oh, no, it was Hitman Holler versus Shotgun Suge. They actually took that battle off. And I think the reason why they took that battle off was because of URL. Um, maybe URL told Shotgun Suge and him and Holler not to do it. I, I don't know what it is. You know what I mean? But because that battle has actually been promoted on URL, you know, a lot. And I think it would have been kind of robbery if, you know, like Guerrilla Warfare got that. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to post a link to this page so that you guys can pre-order the, the pay-per-view as well. And come November 21st, this Saturday, you guys can watch it as well. I'm just doing my part to support the battle rap community and things like that. And after the event, I will be doing a recap of the battles and give you my opinions. And uh, seeing if anything I said came to pass. So this is going to be an interesting card. So again, shout out to Guerrilla Warfare for putting together this card. This card is fucking crazy. And I can't wait for this shit to start, man. I don't want to wait for like the battles to drop on YouTube and shit. I want to, I want to watch it at the time, and I, th I suggest everybody else do too, because this is going to be the talk of the entire, for the for the rest of this year. I feel like this is going to be like the talk of the of, of the battle rap community, you know. Um, yeah, they lot of shit. And I'm glad I'm ending this video. So thank you guys for watching. Peace. Uh, tell me your opinions on the battles going down. And if you agree with anything that I said or if you disagree, why, why not? You know, uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace. And I'll see you guys for the recap after November 21st. Peace.